Hey, it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel, To the Witchy Reader. So I'm going to be talking about uh, book one in The Warriors of Bria, The Lost King. I just finished it, and it was so good. I absolutely loved it. I loved everything about it. The magic, the world, the uh, characters. I love Lauren and Val the most, obviously, and love their relationship. I love how Lauren sees Val not just as the prince or the future king, but as... um. Val, and I love how Val sees Lauren not as an outsider or um, a rare a knight warrior, but as Lauren. It's just so nice, and I love, and I love their. It's kind of, a, it's kind of a slow burn. I can see like, the, like by the end of the book, they still can't admit that they have feelings for each other, but it's kind of obvious. Uh, but um, Baden, who is um, uh, Val, Val's brother. I wasn't sure about him at first, but he grew on me, and um, uh, I ended up liking his relationship with uh, Lauren as well, their friendship they had, at, um, and I liked um, Lauren's friendship with uh, her servant, what was her name? I don't even know if I can pronounce her name, it's like Atraminda, something like that, um, and she's nice, and um, Lauren, who's not from a world with servants, didn't, you know, want to, didn't like the idea of having a servant, but, so she was, like, really different with the way she treated, which she at Tremenda, like, most people are used to servants, so they don't really, they just give servants orders, this and that, but Lauren befriended her, and I really like that. Um, and... This book gave me Avatar The Last Airbender vibes. I can't speak today. Avatar The Last Airbender vibes. Um, there are different people that can control different elements. Lauren is, I guess, this person's uh, avatar. Um, she can control all the elements, but she's very unique because night warriors are very rare. Her powers and things are more on the rare side than um, other uh, people who can control the elements. And... Uh, Master Jahira, who was her, uh, who was training her and Val how to use their powers, um, gave, was a lot like tough in many ways. She is pretty much undefeatable and she is strong and powerful. And uh, plus, there was that one line that really gave me top vibes, and it was when Val told uh, Lauren that she's that uh, people believe that uh, she can. Uh, uh, sense people's movements through the earth, which is how how she always wins and stuff. Um, and I was like, that that's tough right there. So if you like after our last episode, definitely check this out because I, it gave me some vibes from that. But I just loved it. I loved the world. I loved um how uh I love this one scene when uh Lauren was trying to prove to Baden that she is from another world because she came she's obviously from our world and ends up in this magical mystical world and um she uh so she decided to grab her purse with some of the belongings she had um on her when she transported to this world and and that was her phone so she showed him her phone and her servants her phone and they were amazed by it it was like so funny watching their reactions at this thinking this was magic and it was hilarious and then afterwards, Bannon went to Val, and he was just so, he was a mess, he was just, he just like, this, it's true, there's another world, she's from another world, you, the thing she showed me is impossible, and it was just hilarious. He, 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 he went a little nuts there for a minute, because that was, that was hilarious, it had me laughing, but, but yeah, so, that was fun, but, I I love, like I said, um, Lauren and Val's relationship. It started off, and it's like, at the beginning, they were just so annoyed with each other, but they also, I guess, I think they kind of liked each other even from the beginning. Just, it took a little bit before the feelings really started, but there was, like, something about, like, uh, Lauren knew there, they, there was just something about them, and the other just couldn't place it, and... Um, but Val became protective of her because he had saved her, and then she had saved him, and then, um, 
Val's first person we ever met in this world, and the only person she trusted for a little while before she started meeting more people that she could trust. Um, and there was also the finding out about her mother's past, because she found out her mother was actually from this world, but was transported to her world with the same amulet that had transported her to this world. And then she found out that her father was here in this world because he was from her world, our world, but he accidentally ended up in this world and she had thought he was dead all these years. So there was that reunion. Um, and then there, you know, I love the ending, the fight and um, Lauren and, and someone was trying to like, it's called the Lost King because Val and Baden's father has been missing. I mean, that's how, why Val was in the woods when Lauren showed up because he was come, returning from an expedition to try to find their father. So, um, because he was kind of on this little mission that had to do with the, the amulet that Lauren has. And, uh, but they did find him near the end. But he was kind of working with the bad guys. So there's that as well. And so now Faust Torn's like he's still his father by the same time. He betrayed them and stuff. And he's like sure that this is the right move to help their people. And it's like just no. But Lauren went missing at one point. Lauren um, ha was like in this dreamscape. And she this person that's really 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 old like probably thousands of years old was trying to take over her body in the real world um of course they stopped it they sort of it's kind of complicated i don't want to spoil too much i think i'm getting a little too spoilery in this review but um i really love the world and the characters and the relationships um I loved uh, the training sessions between Lauren, Val, and um, uh, Master Jahira, and I loved, um, it's like Lauren and Val were intrigued by one another from the beginning. I guess that's where I was looking for, They're, they were intrigued by one another, and it made them keep trying to go to the other and not understanding, like, why, like, why were they drawn to one another, and... Um, like Lauren, they they when they first met, they did not speak the same language because the people in this world speak a whole other language than the people in uh than her world, our world. So, um, Lauren ended up having to. So part of her training session wasn't just learning her magic with um Master Jahira, but also to learn um their language with um her father. Uh, so there's a lot of learning, studying, training and stuff and not only she finds out because of who her mother was in this world she's from a noble line so she is an honored guest in the palace she has a servant and she has to learn all these things like they women always wear their hair in braids but there's a whole bunch of different braids and each new braid means a different thing that's unique i've never seen anything like that and same with the whole perfumes each smell t gives a different message to people and suitors and stuff so <laughs> it was very different, but I enjoyed it. Um, and so Lauren, Lauren is still trying to harness her powers. Um, at the end, Lauren and Val is kind of like ready to go off on this new expedition to find a master of night to truly teach Lauren, because Master Jahira was a master of earth. Um, and Val is. His element is Earth as well, but he's, um, she was training him, and she was training Lauren too, but, um, there's only so much she can do since she doesn't have the same magic as Lauren, so Lauren is ready to learn from a Master of Night, which, like I said, they're very rare though, but, um, Jahira told her where to find a Master of Night, so, looks like they're off. I don't know about it, it's gonna be coming. I'm sure not, because someone's going to have to be there to help their mother with their duties and stuff. Because Val's technically the oldest, so he has all these duties. But right now, he just needs time and space. And he just wants to help Lauren because feelings, they have feelings for each other. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so I 
vastly enjoyed this book. I loved everything about it, the world, the characters, the relationships, the magic, um, the fights. And it was just really fun. The twist that I did not see. There was a twist I did not see coming here and there. And it was just really uh, good. And I cannot wait to get into book two, which probably won't be today, though. But I do want to start at least tomorrow. So I definitely highly recommend this book if you like Avatar Last Night Better, Magic, Other Worlds. Um, yeah, so I definitely highly recommend checking this book out. You won't regret it. It's amazing. And that is all. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you've read it, if you want to read it, and I'll chat with you guys below in the comments. Until next time.